Hey love, if you want to learn how to start your own faith-based business online, today I'm really excited because I'm going to be showing you how to use my business model canvas to create basically your own business plan and I'm going to tell you how you can get this for free. Hey, it's your girl Steph Rodnes, founder and CEO of God the Wood Girl, creator of God the Wood Girl University. And my purpose in life is to connect women of Christ with the resources they need to step into their purpose as faith-based entrepreneurs. So if that's you, make sure you subscribe to the God the Wood Girl YouTube channel and check out God the Wood Girl University. It's gonna help you start your faith-based business online step by step. Now, if you're ready to learn how to create your business plan using a business model canvas, grab your pen and paper. Let me show you how to do this. So first steps first, what is a business model canvas? It's basically a one page roadmap for how you're going to run your own business online. Now, a lot of people spend a ton of time making a business plan for their business. And here's the thing, I'm gonna be really transparent with you. And this is coming from somebody who spent $60,000 getting a master business administration, learning how to create business plans, okay? You do not need a business plan unless you are looking for investors or financing. I'm gonna say that again. You do not need a business plan unless you are looking for investors or financing. You are the owner of your business. You are the CEO of your business. You are the founder, you are the investor, you're the sole proprietor, it's you. So you don't need a business plan. And spending six to nine months developing a business plan is such a waste of time. I am speaking from experience because when I first started Godlywood Girl, I spent an entire 30 days <laughs> developing this business plan based on what I learned in business school to kind of like get me in the right direction. It didn't make me any money. What made me money was this stuff, okay? Was this stuff. And so I created this business model canvas. Now, if you look at business model canvas, you'll see many different formats. The one that I learned in school, no offense again, but <laughs> It was useless to me, it didn't help me actually make money. So this, these items, one, two, three, four, five, six, these six items that I'm gonna take you through actually help me make money and actually help me stay on track to generate income. I'm so sorry about the lighting, it's because it keeps color correcting for the white paper. So that's what I'm gonna take you through today. And if you want your own copy of this PDF, click the link in the description box. You'll be able to download this PDF for free, this is my gift to you because I really wanna help you girls get your faith-based business launched. I really believe there's a reason God purposed you to do it. Um, and so this business model canvas is based off of the six things that I believe are actually going to help you generate income. It's different from the business model canvases you'll see online. This is my own personal system, okay? So for the first part is purpose. This box right here, purpose. That is the first part of the Godwood Girl business model canvas. What is the purpose of your business? What is your niche? That's the purpose. When I'm explaining purpose to students in Godwood Girl University, I explain it as the problem that you solve in your business. That's the purpose of your business. Every business needs to be a clear solution to a clear problem. So the first thing you wanna do when you're thinking about starting your business is to identify the unique problem that you are solving with your business. This is usually gonna to come from your experience, your passions, your expertise. In Godwell Girl University, I take you through my actual questionnaire to help you identify what the purpose is of your business. But that is the first step and very important because the only way you're going to be able to create this business is if you're very, very clear on, on the problem that you're solving. The second box is your customer avatar. The second box is your customer avatar. Now customer avatar refers to the person you're solving the problem for. That's all a customer avatar is, the person you are solving the problem for. One of the biggest mistakes that we can make is think everybody is going to buy from our business, right? But there's this great saying in business that if you market to everybody, you'll sell to nobody because every single segment of the population has their unique goals, dreams, and ways that they like to solve a problem. So for example, here at Godwood Girl, I help women start a faith-based business online. However, I do not teach women how to have a high ticket coaching program. Um, there are other people who teach that like Maya Elias or Sunny Leonard Doozy. I don't teach that because for me, I like to have passive income and that's why I focus on teaching passive income streams in my business. So even though I have the exact same problem that I solve as other entrepreneurs, how to start a business 
online, I am not teaching how to start a high ticket coaching program. So I know the specific customer I'm trying to reach is somebody who does not want to spend their time to make money, is somebody who wants to have passive income so they can have the time to do the things God called them to do in their ministry, at their church, in their families, in their relationships. That is what I teach. So you want to be very specific about the type of customer you are attracting to that problem that you solve. I teach you how to do this step by step in God Will Grow University. So if you don't know how to build a customer avatar, don't worry, I got you. Now the third part of the business model canvas is the sales funnel. The sales funnel. And this part is how you make money, honey. <laughs> so the sales funnel is specifically what helped me start generating consistent income online. If you've heard my story, you know that I was selling eBooks on Amazon, books on Amazon, and only making $2 per sale. So even if I moved 100 units that month, I only made $200 for the month and I couldn't live off of that. It was a sales funnel that allowed me to go from making $200 a month to $200 in a weekend and then $400 and then $800 and then $1,000 and that's when I quit my job. <laughs> so the sales funnel is how you actually monetize, right? And it's how you're going to build your email list. It's also going to be how you build your email list. So it's going to work two ways for you. So I'm not going to cover sales funnels in this video, but check out the video that I recorded on sales funnels for beginners, just so you have an idea of what sales funnels are. I teach Godwell Girl University students how to build their first sales funnel. I love sales funnels. So in this box, what you're going to want to write down is your lead magnet, how you're going to be attracting people to get onto your email list. You're also going to write down your tripwire offer, how you're going to try to monetize that lead once they get your lead magnet. You also want to write down what automation software you're going to be using to build your email list. I teach ConvertKit, I teach MailChimp, I teach teach click funnels in Godwell Girl University. Those are just three options. There are many other options like Kartra, there's Entreport, there's Infusionsoft, there's lead pages. There's a lot of different options. Obviously, I'm not going to try to go over all of them in this 10 minute video, <laughs> but there are a lot of different options that you can use. So write down how you're going to monetize your business with your sales funnel. This is how you create that passive income stream. If you know nothing about sales funnels, get into Godwell Girl University university and school of business, I teach you how to create your own sales funnel online. The fourth box is your marketing channel. The fourth box is your marketing channel. Now here's the thing about sales funnels. They don't make any money unless you drive traffic into them. Sales funnels do not magically make us money. Okay. We have to bring people into the sales funnel and then the sales funnels job is to convert those people into sales, convert leads into customers. So you need to have a marketing system set up aside from your sales funnel. Some people think, Oh, I just built a sales funnel. I'm good. No, no, no. You need to have a marketing channel, which is how you're going to take people and bring them into your sales funnel online. Now in this wonderful age, we don't even have to pay to do this anymore. So when I first started my business in 2008, you had to pay to do marketing. Social media was very, very new. Um, so yeah, you could post on Facebook and stuff, but really you were investing, you were investing in radio ads, in banner ads. Anybody remember banner ads? <laughs> you were investing in driving marketing and driving traffic into your business. But with social media, you don't have to invest money. You can just invest your time using social media to drive traffic into your sales funnels. My favorite social media platforms are obviously YouTube. I love YouTube. I'm a video filmmaker. So obviously video works a lot for me. I also love Instagram. So Instagram, I have taken a bit of a break from Instagram right now, but once I hire a marketing coordinator, I do plan to get back on the platform because it is fun and it's moving towards video, which is my neck of the woods. <laughs> and I'm also thinking about getting started on TikTok because TikTok relies heavily on short form video content. And again, I love making videos. So I'm thinking about trying out TikTok. but my favorite marketing platform by far is YouTube. Now your favorite marketing platform, platforms. Maybe you're a writer. Maybe you like blogging. Maybe you like creating graphics. Maybe you like Pinterest. Maybe you like taking photos. Maybe you like Instagram. Maybe you like communicating in groups. So maybe you like Facebook. It's totally up to you how you want to do your marketing. You just need to pick a platform and learn it. Learn how to use the platform to drive traffic into your sales funnel. None of these platforms are going to work for you if you keep guessing. I'm going to say that again. 
because I wish somebody had told that to me when I first started. None of these platforms are going to work for you if you keep guessing. If you're like, maybe I'll try this and maybe I'll try that and then I'll try this. These algorithms are designed to serve their audiences content that they like. So your job is to learn how the algorithm determines what content their audience likes. And then you create that content and have it drive traffic. Okay, sorry about that. The camera cut off because the card was full. And I have a feeling I was about to say something really important, but I don't remember what it is. So <laughs> moving on, make sure you write down your marketing channels that you're going to be using to drive traffic into your sales funnel. The next one is Profit Maximizer. The next one is Profit Maximizer. What is a Profit Maximizer, you say? <laughs> a Profit Maximizer is usually going to be what takes your business to the six figure per year mark. A Profit Maximizer is usually usually going to be what takes your business to the six figure per year mark. And by six figures, I mean that $100,000 per year, that $10,000 per month that so many of us see as the unicorn. And I just found out that only 8% of um, businesses actually reach this milestone, which made me so sad. Um, but it makes sense because here's what happened to me. So before I had a profit maximizer in my business, my business was making about 30 to $40,000 per year year. Now, when you work a nine to five job, also making 30 to $40,000 is fantastic. It's great money. It's like play money. But <laughs> when this is your full-time job, you obviously want to make sure you're increasing your income. And the way to do that is to offer a high ticket item, is to offer a high ticket item, AKA a profit maximizer. A profit maximizer is a product that maximizes the profits in your business. It's a product that maximizes the profits in your business. When you're selling $10 eBooks, well, your profits are like, you know, like this, $10. <laughs> but when you're selling $1,000 course, well, your profits are now $1,000. And if you think about the math, 100 units sold of a $1,000 product makes you $100,000 in a year. The same way, 1,000 units sold of a $100 product makes you $100,000 in a year. For most of you girls, it's going to be you creating a profit maximizer in order to hit that six figure mark. It's what happened to me. When I increased my average card value, increased the average amount women were spending with me when they purchased from me, I was able to hit my first six figure year. For me, that looked like the school of purpose. So before I was selling these $7 Unleash Your Legend eBooks, right? And Unleash Your Legend basically teaches women of Christ how to step into their God-given purpose. It's actually right up here above my shoulder. <laughs> so what I did was I took that $7 ebook and made it into an online course and then I made the course a monthly membership program. So now it was $27 per month and you learned how to step into your God-given purpose using my legendary action formula. So when I created that income stream for myself, it took my average order from $7 to about $200 because most women stayed in the program for over a year. That was how I was able to to get to six figures. I was able to increase the amount of profit I was actually making. In the beginning, I'm not telling you that you have to make your profit maximizer right now, okay? Focus on building your email list with your sales funnel. Focus on creating your audience, right? So you can serve them over and over again. But I want you in the very beginning as you're forming your business to think about what is the profit maximizer I can offer to get my business to six figures? What is it that I can either offer for $1,000 and my goal is to sell 100 units or $100, my goal is to sell a thousand units or $500, my goal is to sell, what's the math on that girls? 200 units? I don't, I don't even know. Y'all do the math. <laughs> what is the goal, right? I want you to write that down in the beginning so you're already thinking six figures. It doesn't need to take you forever to get to the six figure mark. What you have to be thinking of is your profit maximizer. What is something that you can offer in order to scale to the six figure mark? And if you don't know how to make products, remember in God the Wood Girl University, I have the product creation toolkit that shows you how to make products, okay? If I've learned how to do it, you're gonna learn how to do it in God the Wood Girl University. And that's what I, I think that's what I wanted to say with the marketing too. If you don't know how to do marketing in God the Wood Girl University, I have the marketing and traffic toolkit that shows you how I use social media marketing to drive traffic into my sales funnels. And the last item on the list is daily activities. The last item on the list is daily activities. Now, daily activities refers to the activities you have to do each day to grow your business. 
<laughs> if you have a passive income business like me, I'm gonna be really upfront with you. I do not work every single day. I just don't. I have passive income, praise the Lord Jesus, which means I make money while I sleep. So I don't really have to work every single day. Right now, I work every Saturday from 12 to 1 p.m. When I host office hours, weekly office hours with my God Will Grow University students, I answer their questions, we hear what's going on in each other's businesses. Um, so that's an hour. And then that's it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything else that I have. Oh, when I film these YouTube videos. So I like to film YouTube videos, but I batch record content. So to be honest with you, today I'm recording like five videos, so I have videos for the next five weeks so that's not really a daily activity either and then when I hire my marketing coordinator it's gonna be her job to post on Instagram so that's not a daily activity either but anyway you just want to write down the daily activities that you know you need to do in order to scale your business in order to keep your business up and running if you are shipping your own orders then write down ship orders if you have a coaching program then write down check in with your coaching clients if you need to do email support or customer support write that down right whatever it is write this down so write down the daily activities now so that once you have officially started your business you know what your daily agenda is you're not confused you're not like how do I actually get this done when you write this down that's gonna be that confidence that you want to run your business you're gonna know this is what I need to do this is how I need to get up and hunt every single day I need to do these daily activities write those things down in the beginning so that's it for the Godwood Girl business model canvas. I am so excited to see you girls use this business model canvas to create a roadmap for your business, especially, especially because I don't want you guys spending six months creating a business plan. Like it's just, <laughs> this little one page sheet is gonna help you get started with what you need. So if you want a free copy, if you want a free download of the business model canvas, click the link in the description box. You're going to enter in your email address and I'm going to email you the business model canvas. So you can go ahead and download it, print it out, or you can download it to your iPad, open up, open it up in good notes, fill it out. And you can use this to help you get started on your journey. So click the link in the description box below. If you are ready to start your faith-based business, you're like, Stephanie, girl, <laughs> I don't want to do any more research. I just want to get started. Come join me in Godwood Girl University. It's my online e-learning platform where I teach women of Christ how to start their own faith-based business online. You're gonna learn how to figure out the purpose of your business, how to figure out who your customer avatar is, how to set up your sales funnel so you can grow your email list, your audience of your customer, how to use social media marketing to drive traffic into your sales funnel, how to create your products so you can know what your product maximizer should be, how to actually figure out how to write an ebook and create a course and to create an online program. All of that is in Godwood Girl University. So to get started, go to godwoodgirl.com TV. Now you guys have heard me talk about the Lord a lot in this video and that's because he is the reason why I even do what I do every single day. So if you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I want to extend an invitation to you to get to know him. John 3 16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. What that means is that being a Christian is trusting in Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. So if you want to make that decision today, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is say this prayer with me. You're going to say, Say, dear Jesus, I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that you rose again. Today, I believe in you as my personal Lord and Savior. Sisters and brothers in Christ, if you said that prayer, welcome to the kingdom. Angels are literally celebrating you right now. Your name has been written in the book of life. Nobody can ever take it out. Get into a virtual Bible-based church in your area and get started reading the word of God. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me on the video. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know your biggest aha moment. Don't forget to watch the sales funnel video, sales funnel for beginners video so you can understand what sales funnels are and how you can use them in your business. Subscribe to the channel and God willing, I will see you in the next video.